everybody, I hope you had a nice Christmas and New Year. It's the 2nd of January today and I'm back in the um, studio uh, ready for the New Year. Uh, last year I made uh, a pot that came out. It's this one here. Uh, I think this is one of the best pots I've ever made, to be honest. Um, and the problem I've got is I don't know what glaze is on it. It came out the kiln and I thought, oh my god, that's a beauty. It's black clay. Or a mixture of black clay and um, stoneware and it's got beautiful satin glaze on it now I think I know what glaze it is I think I've worked out what glaze is on this it's between one of three so what I'm going to do today is throw some more balls like this and uh, hopefully do a few tests uh, as the year goes by and uh, it'll be an ongoing project this, uh, trying to get it right. You know, I like a challenge that takes me through the year. I mean, the last, the last one I had was the Crawley Glaze. That took almost four years to master. So uh, hopefully I can get this one in uh, six months or so. So they're out ready for sale to people. But um, no, it's a, nice, it's a nice pot and I'm just going to try and make a few of these now and uh, see if we can't replicate it. Well, this is um, Valentine's Black Clay Garot. 50-50 with uh, an ordinary stoneware, it's their special fleck. I'm just doing a few of these bowls to um, test some glazes on in the next firing. When I finally get round to firing the big kiln again, it's a bit, uh, a bit cold and damp at the moment. That's one of the reasons why I got the electric kiln my electric firing for January, February time. I tried firing the big kiln last year, January, February, and it was pretty hard going. It's like 14, 16 hour firings to get the temperature. So uh, I decided to leave it till the weather turns and get all my electric firing done. But, um, Just going to be bisque and put to one side. The reason I'm doing it now is I've just found I've just been sorting my clay out and I found this black clay, I didn't know I've got it, so I've got a bit of it left, so I've just mixed it with some stoneware and we're just gonna throw a few of these bowls. Mistake um, throwing with the uh, broad clay after such a long layoff because it's already took the skin off my, my hand there. <laughs> Can you catch it on the wheel head? So. Oh well, nothing ventured. The reason I uh, mix stoneware in with it is well, two reasons. One is this black clay is ex incredibly expensive. And also, uh, it doesn't fire to cone 10, it only fires to about cone 6 on its own, otherwise, it just sort of goes brittle and breaks. So I mix some stoneware in it just to raise the temperature. In a little loose wobble in it. The inside nice. Go slightly round, slightly in. Straight edge. This is going to have some white slip wiped on the outside of it afterwards. The contrast between the dark body and the white slip. Today's pots. Easing myself gently back into um, into throwing the new year. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Dusty studio. 
that's the bit of throwing for you today. Um, what I have done, I have a, I've had a firing of um, the electric kiln. Um, I tried to film the kiln opening, but it was late in the afternoon. Well, it was four o'clock in the afternoon. It was almost pitch dark, so um, I couldn't film it right. The lighting was bad. But um, this is some of the pots that have come out. I'll just see if I can get behind the camera so you can see what we're looking at. Um, They've come out really nicely. They've got a kind of mauve, it's a kind of mauve uh, colour on them. So these are the tests I've been doing. It's got um, chrome at the bottom, so it's uh, not so sort of yellow as some of the other ones, but they're really, really nice. I'm really pleased with what's come out. There's, uh, oops, that's a sort of flatter tea bowl. With the white slip, and um, I tried um, tried a moon jar. So this is a moon jar. What I did was I put it, I put put the uh, cobalt on quite thick, and just drew a sort of emptying brush down, so it it sort of ran out. I knocked it there when I was blazing, but it's only a test. That's come out quite nice. So I'm going to do a few more of those. Um, so that's it. First video back um, in 2022. And uh, let's crack on with it.